of the mighty men. Rollerball Rocco, of course, the heavy middleweight champion of Great Britain, and Kid Chocolate, the young man from Dominique. It's six five-minute rounds, two fours, <coughs> excuse me, two fours, two submissions or a knockout will decide it. We're going to join this bout now in the inter-round between rounds two and three. There is no score, and ringside forward of sport is, of course, Ken Wharton. Rocco, the heavy middleweight champion of Great Britain who won it on that tournament that you saw on television a few weeks ago. You remember seeing the final at Blackburn. Second out, round three. Four rounds to go as we start round three. No score. Two falls to decide this first one in the tournament. Kid Chocolate versus Mark Rocco. Ro Ro Rocco is the McManus team, and the TV All-Stars is represented in this first bout by Kid Chocolate. Back to canvas now. Boy from the West Indies. Two or three times so far in the last round, Kid Chocolate has headbutted Rocco, which is one thing he hasn't liked. It's unsettled him, and he's taken a walk outside the ring to avoid any further treatment. One, two, three, four. The crowd longing for him to try that again. Monkey time, high one, landing but not too well, but a beautiful drop kick coming back at him from the rocks. Difficult to see from here exactly how. But going back to the forehead. Going for that same spot. The left hand side of the left eye. Holding press. And now Rocco can he move from that? He can't. The first one for Ch hit chocolate in round three. Just one minute, 20 seconds into the round three. The first foul goes to Kid Chocolate. Naturally a very popular fall. One of the TV All-Stars getting it. The first fall, rather surprisingly, I thought, against the heavier and more experienced rocker. But nevertheless, a very good start for the TV All-Stars. Can he keep this up? Three rounds to go. Second out, round four. Round four, and Rocco takes it right across to him. This time on the bell, trying to get the equalizer very quickly now. He has to. He will never hear the end of it if he's beaten by a man a stone lighter than himself, having just got the heavy middleweight belt for the second time. These high monkey climbs are rock holes. Each time his man's landing on the ropes. And now, the first time, this Rocco doing it on purpose, and the foot is caught, the heel is caught, and Emil Prov hasn't realized it. Quite illegal, that last one. But has one public warning against him, of course, Rocco, that is trailing by the one fall scored by Kid Chocolate as a comment in round three. Throwing him out, getting in the arm in between this time, but the arm is loosened. Rather luckily, I think, would have caused him some damage there. It did hurt him. The question is, can Rocco go for that left arm as we try over? No, going for the left leg, single leg Boston. And it's a submission. Equalizing submission to Rocco in the four. Just about one minute, 20 seconds into round four. And your master of ceremonies, Brian Crabtree, to announce it. Ladies and gentlemen, in the fourth round, for the one leg of Boston Crab, the equalizing submission goes to the NBA middleweight champion, Mark Walker. Well, he likes it. The crowd don't like it too much, but he's happy now that he's back in on level terms. One each. But one public warning against this man as we go ahead with round five. Second out, round five. Now, can Kid Chocolate get more of those butts in? You'll have to be quick. One, two, three, 
really quick on the attacking move. Trying it, he's got a couple in there. Again, the crutch hold, but not the slam. It's over the top rope again. Illegal use of the ropes, but continuing that move and a second public warning for it. The referee issues the second and final public warning to Mark Rocker. Rocker used to getting public warnings. He doesn't mind two. It's the third that worries him. And as you notice, the stage is just behind the ring there. Kid Chocolate could have brought himself badly on that... Uh, stage away from it. That's, oh, that's getting to be a habit with Rocco, that. He didn't follow it up this time, he didn't dare. And a single leg Boston on the same leg, and this could be the winning submission. It is. Kid Chocolate forced to release, to ask for a release immediately, and he gets it. So Rocco the winner by two submissions to one in round five. Just took him one minute, 15 seconds to get that Ladies winner. Ladies and gentlemen, in one minute, 15 seconds of the fifth round, the winner was the North Walker.